Hey guys, welcome to the course. So jumping straight into it, what we're going to do in this video is the most boring part, and that is to get our tools installed, which will allow us to actually complete the course. And thankfully, there's only two things we need. We just need a, a text editor, which is where we're going to write our code, and we also need a local web server. And the web server is just how we're going to host our websites locally, because we're using PHP, which is a server-side scripting language, and that just means we need to have it on a server to actually run it. If that makes no sense to you at all, don't worry about it. You don't really need to understand that. Uh, just know that we're going to install a local web server, okay? So go to Google and type in ZAMP, because this is the name of the web server we're going to use. So type in ZAMP, and then this first link you see should be with the URL apachefriends.org. So click on that first link, and this will take you to the website for ZAMP. And I'm on a Mac, so I would click this Mac download link. But if you're on a Windows machine, obviously you click this. Or if you're on Linux, you'll click this one. Okay, so I'll click on the uh, Apple one. And then it should start the download for you when you click save. But I've already installed this ahead of time, so I'm not going to do it again. But you would go ahead and click save here. Now, when that's finished saving, you can go ahead and run that. So whatever you just saved, go ahead and open it. So it's going to look slightly different if you're on a Windows machine, but I'm on an Apple computer, so I'm just going to drag and drop that into the Applications folder. But I've already done it, so I won't do it again, but that's what you would do. If you're on a Windows machine, it's going to look slightly different. You have some little wizard to go through with the steps. You essentially just need to click Next on everything. You don't need to configure any options, so all the pre-filled options, just go ahead and click Next on all of them, and then you should be good. So when you've done that, you should be able to run your ZAMP uh, application. So if you're on a Mac, go ahead and open the Applications folder that we just in, uh, saved your XAMPP application to, and just run that application. So when you do that, you should get something like this. Okay, if you're on a Windows computer, again, it's going to look slightly different. On a Windows computer, it's going to look like this. So this is a Windows version, slightly different uh, layout, okay? But I'm going to explain in a minute how it's kind of the same thing. So this one here is the Mac version. This one here is what it will look like if you're on a Windows computer. Let me just get rid of this. We don't need to see this. So I'm closing that down. Okay, so Mac version here, and this is kind of what your Windows version would look like. So if you're on a Mac, like me, just go ahead and click Start. Mine's already started, okay, but yours will be a little red light here, and you go, so go ahead and click the Start button, and this will turn green. When you've done that, it might take a few seconds. Actually, I think it took about 30 to 45 seconds or something for mine to turn green. So just give it some time, let it turn green, and then when it does, you go ahead to Services tab, Okay, and then just click on uh, all of these and start them. We don't really need to start the Pro FTP one, uh, but it doesn't really matter. You can start it anyway. But uh, you just make sure that MySQL is running and also Apache is running. So those will be red lights. Just go ahead and click on them and click start. And then click on that one, click start. Like I say, it doesn't matter about this one, but you can start it if you like. Okay, or just go ahead and click this start all button down here. Okay, so when they turn green, just go ahead to the network tab. And then same thing here, click on that and then click enable, and then when that turns green, you're done. Lastly, move across to the volumes tab. Okay, so this is the last step, and uh, don't worry, it's much easier on a Windows machine, but on an, on an Apple computer, this is the last step. Just go ahead and click the mount button, okay? So when you click the mount button, what it's gonna do is mount the application to this address, all right? Uh, I'm gonna come back in a minute and explain what that means. But for now, I'm going to explain uh, how the Windows one works. So if this is your layout, you know, you're on a Windows machine, just make sure that Apache right here is started. So you click on this Start button. The same for MySQL. Click Start. And then I think that's it. But if you're in doubt, you can just start them all, I guess. But uh, Apache is the main one, and MySQL. Start those. All right, and that's actually it on the uh, Windows one. It's a bit simpler. So when you've started those, uh, you're done. Okay, we're both at the same point now. So Going back to this Mac version right here, what we're going to do is open up the file location for XAMPP, which is where we're going to store our websites. So still on this Volumes tab, remember we've already clicked Mount, okay, you should see something like this, these two buttons kind of uh, open up. So when you've done that, just click on the Explore button right here. Ignore the Unmount one, we don't care about that. Just click on the Explore button. And this will open up, let me get rid of that, this will open up uh, the location for this. And then inside here are all the directories for our server. So the only one you care about is htdocs. You can ignore all of the other ones. Forget, I don't even know what they mean. Okay, so all these other ones, I don't even understand what they do. So just ignore them. The only thing you care about is htdocs. This is where we're going to store all of our websites. So you can see that I already have a ton of websites in here, but yours is going to be fairly empty. 
just know that inside the HT Docs folder is where we're going to keep our website. And I've made a link on here for HT Docs, and it's worth doing the same thing. So if you if you're on a Mac, just drag from this HT Docs folder and just drop it into here, and it'll kind of create this uh, quick link for you. It's just for convenience, so you don't have to click on this Explore every time. You can just kind of click on there, and it will take you straight to that same web uh, same uh, directory. So going back to the Windows version, just to explain what the difference is, it's not very different at all, it's actually much simpler. Just click on the Explorer button right here and this should take you to your file location, okay? And the same thing, go to the HT Docs folder, okay, that's it. So all you need to do on a Windows computer, start this, start that, and then click the Explorer button, that's it. So let me just go back to here and I'll go back to the HT Docs folder. What we're gonna do is create our website now. But before we do that, remember there's still one more thing we need to do and that's just to install a text editor. And a text editor, like I said, is just where we're gonna write our code. So if I just bring up Google right now. So the text editor I'm gonna use in this course is a very popular one, it's called Sublime Text. So go to Google and type in Sublime Text. Okay, and go to that and it's the first link you see. You can use any text editor you want. If you have your favorite, maybe Visual Studio Code, it's also a very good one. But I'm gonna use Sublime Text on this. Um, and just click download, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's not really much to go through. So just go and install this text editor. And like I said, this is just where we're gonna write our code. And then that's it, we're ready to go ahead and create our website now.